they sell and speak to us. God of our Father, most of you like to God of our Father, most of you like to God of our Father, most of you like to They send this day and speak to their children. And I'm in the words of my mouth, and in the truth of our hearts, we are sent to their sight. Telling of singing, what 
uh, you know, the schools everywhere, before you read it, the, what they read about the popularity of their schools, their universities. And what do you think about it? As a matter of fact, the miracles are from my father to the world. If you are putting that money in a book, you can book itself. Our father was a great prophet of God, sent to our time in our time by the Father Almighty. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ sent our Father most of the Lord to bring salvation to the mankind. And the type of life he lived brought us to the love of God. Our Father was the Lord followed the teachings of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He lived by the word of God. And the word of God, he came with the great commission. I'm going to send Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. He started his mission and journey from a career. He left the career about 1950. Preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. He journey took the journey took him to Lokoja, Jos, Zaria, Kano, and later down to the Lori Oshoko until he arrived in Lagos about July 1934. Our father did many miraculous works that neutralized the evil works of witches and wizards, masters of costly practices through the preaching of the gospel and prayers. Our father sent most of the people to Olashe, taught his followers to live righteous and holy lives so that we would enter into the kingdom of God after we complete our chapter here on earth. When we started the new administration, we started all our, le all our lessons from the redeeming righteous life and living holy life. That's what we are going back to what our father put in the world and down for us. Christ taught us that every Christian, those who followed him, was free the gospel of Jesus Christ, the great commission. We have to preach that we are all evangelists by God's grace. Jesus, So my theme of my sermon today is do the work of evangelists. And our text is taken from 7 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5 to 13. Second Timothy, four verse five. But what thou in all things, in your afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Thenceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that Lord is appearing. God said not to him alone, but as many as believe in the word of God and follow the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ. That same crown of glory shall be yours in Jesus' name. Yeah. 
when you are diligent, you come shortly unto me. For Demas has forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto the city of Nica. Graces to Galatians, Titus unto Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me, take Mark, and bring him with me, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. And Titus have I sent to Ephesus, the God that I left at Troas with Carpus, when thou comest, break with thee and the books, but especially the parchments. My dear brethren, this passage was written at the latter part of Paul's life. Paul, Timothy's father in the faith, charged his son not to be weary in discharging his duty as an evangelist. He charged him to endure afflictions, I'm going to pass by. Because sometimes preaching the gospel comes with persecution which requires perseverance. Timothy's attention was drawn to the assignment given to him, which was absolute proclamation of the gospel. Paul mentioned that he had fought a good fight, finally, that was laid up for him as crown of righteousness. Fighting a good fight of faith involves running from sin, 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 and pursuing things such as righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. As part of his admonition, he told Timothy that he would like to see him as pretty as possible. Probably, when he wanted to discuss some other things with him which he could not write in his letter. In this same letter, Paul also mentions some people, some of the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, who have played important roles in his preaching ministry. Such as Demas, Presence, Titus, Dalmatia, even our Lord and Savior, our Master, who also started continuing this gospel from 1925 to 1933 before he died. After I completed this chapter, our father from Nanuka continued the evangelism from 1936 to 1946. After he completed this chapter, our father Samuel Abu Continued the evangelism from 1947 to 1957. And when he completed this chapter, our father Joseph Ashiro and Continued the evangelism from 1960 to 1973. And after he completed this chapter, our father kept prayers at the Kowale Kuya Day, continued the evangelism from 1973 to 1985. When he completed his chapter, our father got free shaman or chubu, continued the evangelism from 1986 to 2004. 
And after he had completed his chapter, our father, the commander of Luther II, who came in, continued the evangelism from 2005 to 2010. After he completed his chapter, our father was for Sarah of Bao Yelonu, continued the evangelist from 2011 to 2017. My beloved brethren, our father most of all that they started the evangelism as a tool in the commentary. And continue the missionary journey throughout the length and breadth of Nigeria. Our Father Moses Mwalade and his preaching and prayers put cultism and similar evil practices to a stop to the standstill. My beloved brethren, let us ask ourselves. This is the month of October. The tenth month of the year, 2023. In the last 12 months, how many people have you converted to Christ? Our hymn number 62, one of the verses said, Let us by our manners come and ask come. How much have we done to convert more souls to Christ? If you have not, if nobody has told you in the last 12 months, are a failure. God is not allowed to fail us to give us the hand. So from today, carry a gun from they are ready. Go and seek for the lost souls and bring them to the Lord. In keeping with the great commission. Our father moves on one that when he registered his holy order, RC 316, he said the object of which order is founded is to evangelize, evangelize and around the African Nigeria in particular and the whole world in general to a top Christian life. <laughs> My beloved brethren, it's not enough that you are converted, you are not waiting for salvation. On that day, the Christ will ask you, what have you done to convert your souls to Christ? When Christ will face us and ask us the questions, let us not be serious. Let us not by our action drive away members. This is what my beloved brethren, the proclamation of the gospel is not an option for Christians. I'm appealing to all of us. You must endeavor to do the work of an evangelist in season and out of season. You should not allow the temporary enjoyment of this world to take away the work of evangelism from you. As we celebrate our God as a most of the world, let us learn to follow his footsteps. 